question. Do you know what is this? Most people don't know what this is. Most of the time we have it like this and we normally have this in our kids' bedrooms while well, my kids took some of the bits away. Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you if you're a returning subscriber. Do you know what this is? Most people don't know what it's called or some people know what it's called but they don't understand the function of this mathematical tool. This counting frame can be used by kids in preschool all the way to varsity if you just understand how to use it. Well, if you don't have kids but you also just wonder how this tool works, don't worry, I won't tell people. I won't tell people that you don't know. This is called the abacus. Abacus is a mathematical tool that was used in the ancient time. The abacus is also known as the counting frame and it can be used for addition, subtraction, division, square roots or even cubic roots. You can count from one up to like a billion and, and more using the tool. This is the commonly used one. This is the school abacus. This is normally used by kids at uh, primary schools. Normally like early grades, like grade one, two, three. And then we also have these. Most parents will buy the abacus just to decorate the kids' room because it's colorful, it looks good, and it looks somehow educational, but they themselves don't know how to use it and they can't even teach their kids how to use it. Well, do not worry. I'll be giving you guys the 10 uses of the abacus for, for beginners. For color recognition, as you can see, this one comes with four different colors, and then this one here comes with two colors. So you can use that for color recognition for a child to recognize the different colors. You can also use this mathematical tool for sorting out colors, like sorting, putting the greens together, or maybe green and red, or whatever the case may be. For patterns, like for this one, it's green, two blues, three yellows, and maybe one red. Then we say it's green, two blues, three yellows, and maybe one red. So you can do this for a child and then they will just copy the pattern. So teach the child the growing patterns like one, two, three, three, four, five, and so on. You can count from 1 up to 120 for this one. So the child will count this being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 120. I think from 1 to 100 will help the child understand the concepts of counting. If I say 4, number 4, which means I have 4 objects or I have 4 bits. And if I say six and so on, so they will understand the concept of counting. To so skip count by two, you can skip count by two. Skip counting is um, a skill that helps the child with, ma with multiplication and division. And we want to teach them this skill early on in their math life. So we say two, five, six, eight, ten, and so on. Or skip count by five, just take. 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. Or skip counting by 10. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way to 120. I mentioned in the video that you can use this mathematical tool for addition, subtraction, and division. But for kids in grade, like preschool level up to like grade 2, you can use it for addition and subtraction if you understand the concepts already. So you can say 1 plus 2, then they can just say 1 plus 2. Then they count it 1, 2, 3. It's 3. Or you can say 10 plus 2. Then they say 10 plus 2. Then they count everything. The answer, the answer is 12. Likewise, for subtraction, 
you can say 7 minus 2. So we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we're taking away 2. And the answer is 5. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below and share it with your friends. And until the next video, bye guys.